Hey everyone, welcome to another Patreon topic video. This one is for Double Vision, and he asks, What are my favorite non shmup games? So for me, this is a fun topic to talk about because I get to talk about myself, and it's a pretty low-key subject. Hopefully, some people will tune in to watch. I don't know, some of my non shmup stuff doesn't seem to do as well. But I like adding in variety, so even if it doesn't do very well, I'm glad to do it and put it on the channel. Get some variety in there. So on this channel and in my podcast especially, I've definitely hinted at some of my favorite non-shmup games and I have even done some videos on them. So I'll just get those out of the way because you guys probably already know. So Ninja Gaiden 2 did a video on that, one of my favorite non-shmup games ever made. I have a whole video on it so if you want to learn more about why, there you go. Same thing with Neo, another favorite non-shmup, sort of related to Ninja Gaiden for the reasons why I like it. And then Metal Slug, that's a run and gun, so take it or leave it if it's close enough to a shmup, but Metal Slug is another one of my favorites. Fun fact though, since we're talking about Metal Slug, one of my least favorite games, or a game that I feel is extremely overrated that I do not like one bit, Okay, I like it a little bit, but not very much, is Metal Slug 3. I really dislike Metal Slug 3. I think it is the worst Metal Slug game, but it has the reputation of being the best Metal Slug game. So, I better quickly explain that before I move on. The reason why I don't like Metal Slug 3 is the level design to me is absurd. Uh, it's extremely gimmicky, I don't like to use that term because it's kind of ambiguous. But basically, it's just a bunch of setup, 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 instead of, you know, specific scenarios where you have to just learn what to do beforehand. You know, it's a quarter stealer, whereas the other Metal Slug games, especially Metal Slug X and Metal Slug 1, more focus on just your fundamental run and gun skills, right? Shooting, dodging, routing, all those sorts of things. The level design is just much stronger, whereas Metal Slug 3... Not only is the little level design kind of just memorized and gimmicky and exhausting, but the game just goes on and on. It's very bloated. And its length is not always good for games, especially arcade games. A bloated shmup is like the worst thing in the world. Same thing with a bloated running gun. So another reason I don't like it is there's just so many levels. Like the majority of levels, when I get into them, I'm like, oh crap, this level... This is going to be a slog. And then you get through that level. The next level, this is going to be a slog. Like, every level just feels like a grind. Whereas Metal Slug X, Metal Slug 1, those are my two favorites. Every level is just delightful. It's an exciting experience every time you get into them. So, Metal Slug, and then a little fun fact, I don't like Metal Slug 3. Some other games that I may have mentioned tangentially. Of course, there's the fighting games, especially in my early... It's funny because... I've been along, I've been around long enough now to where most of my viewers probably don't remember my early material or, material or never watched it, so they don't, they know me purely for shmups, right? Where a lot of my earlier material was when I was coming into the the scene of shmups and getting into the genre, and so I was much more aligned with fighting games and talking about fighting games. So pretty much every episode of the earlier podcast, I'm bringing up fight, fighting games in one way or another. Or I'm, going off into tangents about different fighting games because that was my introduction sort of or the main thing I was into at the time. So the fighting games that I've played that are kind of a part of my life honestly because I've put so much time and effort into them right played them competitively. The first one I'm an 09 er so the first one was Street Fighter 4 you know I'm a you know it's funny because 09 ers that shit is 11 years ago dude. So, 09ers are now OG, right? It's been 11 years. There really aren't that many people around fighting games that predate 09ers, to be honest. Especially these days. You know, the older ones just retired and left at this point. So, yeah, I'm an 09er, Street Fighter 4. And then after that, I sort of alongside Street Fighter 4, I started getting into Third Strike. There was this magical time during Street Fighter 4 between. Super Street Fighter Arcade Edition, or I can't remember the stupid revisions of that game, but I think it was Arcade Edition. 
uh, for four, not five, arcade edition, and then Ultra. There was kind of a gap there where people were getting a little burned out on Street Fighter 4, getting a little bored of it. So, especially because it was very setup heavy at the time. So there was a little renaissance of Street Fighter Third Strike at the time, where a bunch of Street Fighter 4 players were playing Third Strike on the side. And so I started to do that as well. I started to play Third Strike on the side, because I was getting bored of Street Fighter 4. And yeah, so Third Strike, I have kept playing it since then. It is one of the fighting games from, you know, that period of time where I still play it somewhat regularly online on Fightcade or against my friend Dingo. Uh, yeah, uh, we play Third Strike against each other pretty frequently. It's been a bit of a, a lull lately, but that's still something we do. Um, yeah, it's really one of my favorite fighting games, so Third Strike. I'm not amazing at Third Strike, but I'm pretty solid. I can hold my own on Fightcade most of the time, so I consider that pretty solid. Whereas, you know, in a street, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, I get demolished on Fightcade. I can't hold my own in that. Same thing with Alpha. I really like Alpha a lot as well. So then, my main fighting game that some people don't consider a fighting game, but uh, I absolutely do, is Super Smash Bros. Melee. Famous, infamous... If you're a melee player, basically people will hate you or love you on that fact. You know, if they're a melee fan, you're instantly, you have an instant connection there with melee players. It's like, oh shit, we play melee. We're, we're sort of friends now, but there's a lot of people who hate melee. So if you say, oh, I play melee, there's a good chance they might dislike you for that. <laughs> Even my early Discord days, some, uh, some battles broke out on the Discord over melee and stuff, so... Yeah, I played Melee. That's definitely my main fighting game over the years. Um, basically from 2012 till 2019, I was a competitive Melee player. Went to tournaments, all that sort of thing. Uh, I have, I should throw up my match history on this video. I have, I can't remember how many, but it's some thousand online matches. A huge, an absurd amount of online matches in Melee. I've put more time into Melee into then I have the entire shmup genre, which is pretty crazy because of my Dodonpachi grind. But yeah, I basically played that game almost nonstop for six years, so... The reason why I don't play it competitively anymore isn't actually anything to do with my own choice, but because Melee has basically died in my local area. I know there's the meccas where Melee's still somewhat active, like uh, California, the East Coast, Florida, those places the Midwest to a certain extent, but out here in Idaho, it's Pacific Midwest, whatever you want to call it, Utah, Idaho, Oregon, Washington, to a, Washington still has a bit of a scene, but it just pff, crashed, crashed and burned, everyone went on to Ultimate, I figured the day would come at some point, so I basically was forced into retirement because um, I can still play online and stuff, but it really is not the same when you don't have tournaments to go to anymore, especially locals. You know, everyone changed to ult or just quit, basically, one or the other, so... It's been a big bummer for me. Kind of a little bit depressing sometimes when I think about it. So that was my main fighting game. Um, during that time, too, it's funny, is I got into Tekken pretty heavily, but I got into Tekken before Tekken really popped off, so... I got into it around, again, that area 2012, up till 2017, basically up to when Tekken 7 was released on consoles. You know, I remember that. It was insane how long Tekken 7 was in the arcade. And uh, yeah, basically during that time, most people figured Tekken was done, it was over. It was gonna go out with a whimper. Then. Some magic came together and uh, Tekken 7 popped off. That magic mostly being Street Fighter V's absolute failure. And after that, you know, after Street Fighter basically failed, um, I got more into Guilty Gear and Tekken, but never played them competitively. I was much stronger at Tekken than Guilty Gear and played that online and stuff, but never in tournaments or anything. But... I do plan, when the new Guilty Gear comes out, I do plan to hit that somewhat hard, kind of turn that into my main focus, even though I know it's a controversial release, 
it's kind of like they're dumbing it down but hopefully they're just dumbing it down enough to where players like me who have good fighting game fundamentals can just slide on in there and do well and make all the vet veteran Guilty Gear players mad. <laughs> that's kind of my plan anyway. Um, yeah, so that was, that's my fighting game history. Of, you know, I love fighting games. That's my other favorite genre. Like, shmups and fighting games to me are basically equal. It's hard for me to put one above the other because they serve such different functions, right? Like, uh, a shmup cannot replace what a fighting game gives me, but a fighting game cannot replace what a shmup gives me. So they're very complementary genres. And so, yeah, I think, and I know there's a huge overlap between fighting game players and shmup fans where, because, uh, where basically most, many shmup players are fighting game fans. Not all, but many. Um, so, those are my favorite fighting games. But be outside fighting games, too, I do like more casual games, I guess you could say. But, uh, it's hard for me these days to play casual games because, Shmups and fighting games are like my in my DNA at this point. So both of those genres are instant action, instant gratification as far as, you know, engagement. And so sometimes games that slow down the pace a little bit for me are are challenging, especially if I play a game and a cutscene pops up, I'm like, oh fuck, you know. How long is this gonna go on and can I skip it? I'm the worst about skipping cutscenes and stuff. I would be such a bad RPG <laughs> reviewer because my view of RPGs is like, I skip every single cutscene, kind of just, what what about the story can I infer through the gameplay, basically? So speaking of RPGs, though, my favorite RPG series by far are the Advanced Wars and Fire Emblem series. I love those tactical RPGs because they're basically focused mostly on gameplay, so I enjoy those. I've played them hundreds of hours, both Fire Emblem and... Advanced Wars. I actually like Advanced Wars more than Fire Emblem, but the series is over, so I play Fire Emblem now. And then another... I have so many ones I want to try and squeeze in here. Another one I gotta talk about is StarCraft Brood War. Uh, huge fan of StarCraft Brood War, especially in my teens. I played a bunch of it. I actually did play on Brood War, uh, what, Battle.net back in the day on my freaking dial-up connection. I was lagging the crap out of people, probably, without even realizing it uh, as a kid. Yeah, that was my first online competitive gaming experience was StarCraft Brood War. I never got to the level of, you know, Brood War mastery that, you know, some players get to where they're, you know, the, the skill ceiling in that game is absurd. But I definitely got to Brood War adept player where basically if you weren't casual... If you were casual, I would destroy you. But if you were hardcore, you'd destroy me. You know, I was like a gatekeeper, basically, to test, are you good or are you not good? If you're good, you can beat me. If you're not good, I'll beat you. That's about my skill, skill ability in Brood War. Golden, and then some of the just classic ones. Love Goldeneye. Um, almost got into Goldeneye speedrunning, but kind of got burned out on it, especially when you have to look down at the ground all the time. Um, I've mentioned this on the channel a billion times. Uh, speed, I've sp my, One of my favorite games of all time, Super Metroid. I've sp sped ran, is that the past tense? Sped ran that game, or sp speed run did? I'm just kidding. Sped ran that game for since about 2008 or so, back before I really realized what speed running was and was using game facts. I've talked a little bit about that. Oh man, I'm running out of time. So anyway, I don't want to and overindulge. Maybe I'll come up with some more, uh, some more excuses to talk about the games I like. I am planning on doing some videos that aren't necessarily shmup related, or about some of my other favorite games. Again, I, I enjoy diversifying my channel up a little bit. So thanks so much to thanks so much to Double Vision for the topic. I really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and let me sh finish by shouting out my patrons. Dingo, DBL Vision, Double Vision, The Man of the Video, Dunpill2064, Full Set, Retro Shmupper, Gus, Himmel, Kiwi, Jake Ryan, Joe Angelo, K, Kino Tosi, Mark Sloan, Maz, Nathaniel Davis, and Electron, Psych, Plasmo, and Young Money Sweet. Thanks for watching.